Jeffrey Smith here. We're uh, out at a secret hidden lake that we've been uh, uh, photographing and filming the swallowtail kites. The birds were up in the trees and then we watched them leave their roost. They would feed, drink water, and then soar and then fly away. Uh, they're doing this as part of a staging uh, behavior before they make their trip back to South America. The birds uh, travel north from South America to breed in Florida and then travel back for the, for the winter to uh, Brazil and yeah. Argentina, all over. I'm with famed photographer, uh, Mark Smith. It's great to be with you, Mark. Yeah, thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Uh, in Florida, we don't really have seasons, but we do in one sense, and that's migration. And in this instance, these swallowtail kites always mark the beginning of summer. So when we see the swallowtail kites coming, we know that summer's coming. And it's an amazing thing to see just one or two hovering out over the, like the pines or the orange groves that we have in Florida. But when you get to see hundreds of them all roosted together, it's a completely different story. Have you seen this many of them before? I have never seen more than a handful at a time. And, and when, when you mentioned this to me the other day, I'm like, Holy, we don't have time, but we're going. So, you know, this is awesome. When we kind of came around the corner here and I'm like, where are the birds? And then all of a sudden you, they appear in the trees behind us here. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of them. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's, it, it's like the cypress trees are decorated with little white and black Christmas ornaments with all of these birds everywhere. At first, sometimes they look like flowers. And then when you get closer, you realize, oh wait, these are all the, all the swallowtail kites. No, this, is, uh, this has been a spectacular morning. So instead of getting up at three in the morning, we, we came up the night before in the Storyteller uh, to make it, make it an easy morning for us. Mm. We did the opposite. We got up at 3.30 and drove <laughs> for three hours, but it's always worth it to experience stuff like this. It's never an issue. It's a really cool place and the birds are amazing. They kind of come down out of the trees as it warms up and they can get enough lift and they just skim right along the surface and clean their feet. You can see them drinking water and you can get these cool pictures with the water coming out. It's a really cool experience and then they just disappear for the rest of the day and they'll come back tomorrow and do it all over again. It was amazing. It was at about 9, 9.30 when all of a sudden there was hardly a bird in the sky. Yeah. Where, you know, half hour before there was literally hundreds yeah. and hundreds of these birds, which, you know, to me have been very rare, but oh my God, what a, what a beautiful sight. Great to be with you, Mark. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.